In order to measure angles, lengths, and distances, we need to equip the vector space with an inner product, which allows us to talk about geometric properties in a vector space. An example of an inner product that we may know already is the dot product between two vectors x and y. If x and y are two vectors in Rn, so then the dot product is defined as uh, x transpose y is the sum i equals 1 to n of xi times yi, where x and y are n-dimensional vectors. The length of x is then defined as um, the square root of the dot product of x with itself. So the length of x is the square root of x transpose x, which we can also write as the square root of the sum of i equals 1 to n of xi squared. Let's have a look at an example. We take a vector x uh, as 1, 2, and a vector y as 2, 1 in a two-dimensional plane. Then we can compute the length of, vector of the vector of x as the square root of 1 squared plus 2 squared, which is the square root of 5, and the length of y similarly is the square root of 5 as well. If we're interested in the distance between two vectors x and y, we simply compute the length of the difference vector. So we generally define then the distance between x and y to be the length or the norm of x minus y, which is the square root of x minus y transpose times x minus y. So now let's compute the distance between our two vectors over here. So the distance between these two vectors is effectively just the length of this difference. So we can write this as the norm of 1, 2, minus 2, 1. So this is our difference vector, and that is the norm of minus 1 and 1. And this is the square root of 1 plus 1, which is the square root of 2. So the length of this yellow segment is square root 2. So the last thing we are still interested in is the angle between two vectors. And we can compute the angle also using the dot product. The cosine of the angle, let's call this angle alpha. So the cosine of alpha is given by x transpose y divided by the length of x times the length of y. And in our example over here, we'll get that the cosine of the angle between x and y is uh, x transpose times y, which is 4, divided by the length of x times the length of y. But we've done these computations already, which come from here. So it's square root 5 in any case. So therefore, we get the cosine alpha is 4 over 5, which corresponds to approximately 0.64 radians. And that is our angle alpha between these two vectors. In this video, we looked at dot products as special cases of inner products to compute lengths of vectors, to compute distances between vectors, and angles between two vectors. And in part two of this video, we will be looking at general inner products to compute exactly the same quantities.